On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, something kind of spooky with Lego minifigures, Dungeons and Dragons themed a series. We've got 12 minifigures to collect, all Dungeons and Dragonized. But the real problem is we've got a squirrel trapped in a dungeon. Landry Squirrel is stuck in a dungeon. We've got to get him out. We'll console with all the 12 minifigures on how to do that. So follow along as we hopefully pull a full collection of LEGO minifigures, Dungeons and Dragons. Squirrel Stampede! Please like, share, and squirrel live! So which one of these minifigures has the key to unlock the squirrel from his dungeon? 12 to collect and instantly one of the most recognizable library of minifigures in a series I've seen in quite a while. Almost every figure in this collection is a worthy addition to your collection, especially the included brains. Now I have thankfully scanned out the collection with the helpful minifig scan app. I think this is my third go around with the boxes in the minifig scan app and it works pretty well. But I have jumbled the boxes, I'm not sure who's in what, so let's find out who's in this one. So we may have just started with my favorite, Dragonborn Paladin. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Ah, there we go. Number four, it's Dragonborn Paladin, and I just don't know if we can beat the awesomeness of this figure. There's so much armor to this one, it's really quite an impressive minifigure. Dragon shield, crystal gemmed staff, and pretty fancy dragon helmet. Kind of like Space Series 26. We've got identifiable display pads with a little bit of a rock formation on them. I love that they're doing this now to kind of identify the series. So it doesn't matter how cool you are, Dragonborn Paladin, can you remove the squirrel from its dungeon? Ooh, the Dragonborn Paladin's magic has failed and it has seemed to have dungeoned himself. Is that even possible? So while those two sort out their issues, let's check out our next character. Again, really anyone in this series is pretty spec. I believe this could be the halfling druid. It's got the short feet, so it definitely could be a halfling. Why do I have an extra head? Oh, we've got head replacements to change gender of each character. So if you wish to have a male halfling dwarf, druid, excuse me, you got that. And if you want to build up a village of many, you have head switch outs for both girl and boy. That's pretty cool, because I'm pretty sure lots of people are going to be troop building these up, especially for Dungeons and Dragons gaming. Giving that extra headpiece is pretty spot on awesome. And we get a little wobble bird too. All right, Druid, you're up. See if you can release that squirrel from its dungeon. Ah, oh, no. You too? What is with you guys? The little wobble bird has just taken over the Druid's body in his attempted spell to retrieve the squirrel from its dungeon. Guess we need to open more figures to get this squirrel out. Is there a Dungeons and Dragons manual for that predicament? Okay, well, here's our third figure to open up. And maybe they're having great success tearing these boxes or great failure. Ooh, we got someone powerful. So this one is number three. I, can I say this right? Typhling Sorcerer. I don't know the dungeon's lore very well. Ah, there we go, Built. Ugh, she's creepy. And maybe the reason I've never really been too big into Dungeons and Dragons, some, some of the characters go over the top. I like a little dragon minifigure with her though. Have we ever seen that? Maybe that was included with the large scale build with the Dungeons and Dragons. It's a very much a themed looking dragon to the series. So that's pretty neat. I like the switchable head. I just don't care for this really, really creepy character. Yuck, tail on her back. Bad guys, right? With your dark magic, do you have a way of getting out that squirrel from its dungeon? She's trying something interesting, and, and, whoops. She has placed herself inside the dungeon with the squirrel. Well, that's great. I didn't like her much anyway. She can stay in there if we can get the squirrel out. Well, while they work on that, let's grab another one. Hopefully not as spooky as that last one. I usually tend to like the heroes of this series and then maybe like the guy with the tentacle brains. That's kind of fun. I mean, wouldn't it be great to have a neighbor with tentacle brains? Probably have excellent seafood barbecues. destroyed another box. Oh, actually kind of like this one, and it's a bad one. We have unboxed number 11 minifigure, Zaz Tam. 
Show yourself, Zath Tam. And riseth, Zath Tam doeseth. So what I like about this guy, even though it's pure evil too, and I'm not so into the evil figures as much as the heroes, he can kind of sub in for the space line. Kind of reminds me of like a Flash Gordon-like villain, but maybe Flash Gordon just pulled it from Dungeons and Dragons. He's creepy, but not, I don't know, for some reason not as creepy as Typhling Sorcerer. I did not like her. By the way, I got to find your tailor and your rib cage uh, chest plate there. That is a great look. The dude comes with a double cape too. The lower big cape and the upper neck cape that goes up. Y you just gotta love that style. It We just don't see it like we used to. Also with the skull pumpkin red thing head and a fire charge thrower. So I kind of like this one. I'll put it in my okay medium pile. I'll still though just welcome the heroes thwomping them. Alright, well we gotta get this squirrel out of its dungeon. Zastam, you are the alpha sorcerer. You've got to get this squirrel out. Do your thing. Oh, are you kidding me? Zastam has just squirreled himself with his mighty powers. He thought so hard that there he became a squirrel himself. None of you powerful Mystical characters have figured out how to get the squirrel out of the box yet. Well, as they go back to the squirrel box, I'll open another one. What do we got here? Oh, this guy could be intriguing. Number eight, Strahd Von Zarovich. Okay, that name's like overkill. Can we build him up? There we go. Well, so I'm so unknown to Dungeons and Dragons lore, I didn't know there were vampires. Is he a vampire? Kind of has that vampire look with the teeth and the cup of possible empty blood. Maybe. Cool hair. And I like the rat with the dude. Well, if he's got a rat, then not a bat, so maybe he's not a vampire. I don't know. I like his very detailed torso piece. That's nice. Pants as well. And uh, side armor cuffs there, little fluffies on his shoulder pads. All of these just with exceptional detail. And the rat! It's a rat squirrel! Aw, how cute. Well, number eight, Strahd von Zarovich. Can you figure out how to get a squirrel out of a dungeon? I mean, this has been going on for almost half the collection now. What do you got? What do you got? How do you get the squirrel out? Oh, come on! He just added another layer of dungeon? <sighs> so, okay. Let's see what's inside this one. Did we finally get a hero? It's been a while, we've seen lots of baddies. Ooh, this is number one, Dwarf Barbarian. Very good, very good. I chose to go male with this one. It's harder to see, but the red beard looks really cool with the hairpiece. The female version just obviously wouldn't have a beard. And I just like the reddish, well, orangish beard match with the hairpiece there. Ooh, he's got one of those doo 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 doo, -doo, -doo, -doo things on his back torch and a pretty powerful axe. I like this guy. Number one, Dwarf Barbarian. Will we see you in the new Snow White movie? Probably not. All right, Dwarf Barbarian, it's your turn to tackle this predicament. Got any ideas how to get that wall down? I think Dwarf Barbarian is gonna go for the axe throw. If you do it just right, that axe could probably take out both cages. And, oh, oh that's just great, Dwarf Barbarian. It just blew out my lens. Well, let's hit the repair shop and then continue on with this lengthy adventure. This is a big series though. It continues to deliver. What do we have in our next box? Oh, finally. Finally someone just with a good soft voice. It's number nine, Elf Bod. The greatest adventure is what lies ahead. Today and tomorrow are yet to be said. Okay, please, please, no singing. No singing on this channel. Well, the Elf Bard is certainly the softest figure we've seen today yet. Just nice, plain pastel clothing, a beautiful voice, hair silver as the day is short. And a beautiful loot to play with. Is that, wait, is that a loot? If I could just get hit to... The chances, the changes, are all yours to make. The mode of your life is in your hands to break. Okay, please, stop singing. Stop, stop it. 
So do you think maybe you could break down that dungeon with the squirrel inside there, loot elf? The greatest adventure is there in your book. Oh, they just threw a tomato at him through the cage. I guess they don't like him singing. All right, so now what's going on? What is going on with this review? Got five figures left, we're going through. Who's in here? There's still some doozies to be hold. The chicken warrior? Did we finally find the chicken warrior? Some would say this number six chicken warrior is the best in collection, building up. I'll say, I'll say, it's not a chicken warrior, it's number six, Aarakocra Ranger. An Aarakocra Ranger. Did I even get that pronunciation correct? Well, whatever you say, this one is tops in the collection too, one of the best in the top three, I would say. You get a seagull player piece here with excellent wingspan. You don't see many wings in minifigures, so it's kind of neat to see. Uh, you got those backward knee legging pieces. Claws painted on those legs too. And for some reason, comes with a little puppy dog. Probably should know more about. To measure the meaning can make you delay. It's time you stop thinking and wasting the day. Gosh, thank you. Thank you for that. So yeah, I'm liking this guy. I'm liking this guy a lot. So do you got any plans for getting the dungeon squirrel out? He's lifting it. He's lifting it. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Watch out. Watch out. Well, at least you got the half dungeon off the original dungeon. It's going to take me weeks to get these figures back into a proper alignment. Okay, uh, four boxes left. Who's our next fellow? Our fellow friend dungeon dude. None other than number 12, Tasha the Witch Queen. Tasha the Witch Queen, will you stand, please? You know, I've collected many minifigures over the years. One of them that I missed was original minifigure series two, I believe, with the witch. I never got the witch to that series. This witch is like way overdone, though. She's like totally Dungeons and Dragons belted up. How many belts is she wearing? Counting the witch's belt, we've got a high-waisted belt number one, a mid-waisted belt number two, a low-waisted belt number three, a leg-waisted belt number four. Here we go with arm belts number five, six, and seven. Over onto this side, eight, nine, and ten. And maybe, just maybe, you could possibly say that it, this could be an upper belt. That's like 11 belts. She's the belt witch. And she comes with her classic cauldron. Oh, I like the use of the flame pieces. Mine had an extra flame piece, so I just put it in there. Oh, well, the other one jumped out. I just put both in there. <laughs> Seriously, I put both. It's cursed. I put both in here to give it, there we go, to give it a little more fluffy flame. And of course, she has a book of spells. Creepy, creepy spells. Is that upside down? Is that the spell of the shark? I think I put that in upside down. She's got some good detail. I'd put her on maybe like mid collection somewhere. Not the worst, not the best. Any idea for getting our squirrel out of there, witch? <laughs> and laughing's not gonna help this situation. At least give them one of your belts. Okay, okay, okay. We're chewing through these three left over here. What's we got? Ooh, I see yellow, I see yellow. Kind of like a classic yellow minifigure head. That's a good start. And I believe it's number two, Gith Warlock. A Gith Warlock, whatever the Gith means. Building up. And there's our Gith Warlock, number two. I think I might put this in my top three or four. Extra headpiece, extra lots of stuff with this guy. Got an extra knife, got an extra lightsaber, got an extra shoulder pad system. All the parts to throw you off if you're back to the old measuring scale method. I like that he's a little more funny than creepy. I like his eyeball stuff. That's pretty neat. That knife is really sharp. Pretty cool little chest uniform medallion thing. He'd go well with like a Doctor Strange collection if you're building your Strange up. I could put him at the uh, Manor there. What is in his back pocket there? 
Hold on, hold on, he has the key! We finally found the character with the key to remove the squirrel from the dungeon! Oh, this is such great news. If you could just back up Sir and unlock that cage for us. Oh, are you serious? You backed up too far and fell into the cage and now you're stuck too. I thought these Dungeons and Dragons figures would be a little more scheming. Well, while they work that out over there. Ugh, all these extra pieces. We're nearing the end, we got two left. We're nearing the end of this great series of Dungeons and Dragons. Got me thinking, do I get that giant set to place them in? I just don't have a room for giant sets anymore. Oh, this is one I really wanted to see. It's the Brain Dog. Number seven, Mind Flayer. Mindy on up. What a figure. See, I put this guy more in the weird category than in the creepy category. I don't know, just because of the weirdness of the headpiece. Have we ever seen that headpiece before? Kind of feels like Lego in space. I mean, Lego Space Police or something, maybe. But no, it's probably original to this series. I don't know. Got a cool little dress piece skirt printed side arm bands. Can't really see his torso chest there because of his tentacle beard. It's got kind of just like, like this little shiny piece there. And then he's got a brain dog. That's the character piece of the collection, a brain dog. Probably subbed that in for uh, Krang and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles even. Just an ultra weird one. Wins the weird piece of the collection. Number seven, Mind Flayer. All right, number seven, mind over matter. Can you remove the cage? He's thinking about it, he's thinking about it. And, 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 he's done it! He's removed the dungeon and placed the dungeon over us. Oh, that's just great. Now we're all trapped inside the dungeon. <laughs> Yeah, laugh it up, laugh it up. I don't want to be trapped in this dungeon all day. Well, this is just great. This is great. I'm so sorry, everybody. We're, we're now all in the dungeon together, thanks to the Mind Flayer. That's our last box, our last box. Will we get out of the dungeon ourselves? I really hope so. I don't think I could, I don't think I could stand being in here. Let's see if I completed the full collection, by the way. That's a good sign. I think we got it. I think we got the full collection. The scanner is a success once again. Who is this? Well, let's see here. It should be number 10, the Lady of Pain. That might not bode well for us. Building up and constructed the Lady of Pain. Wow, what a finish, Lady of Pain. And this one not so creepy, just kind of weird like the uh, Mind Flayer is. I don't mind the non-creepies as much, wow. The orange, kind of Statue of Liberty-esque in green on her head. And look at that cape, you don't see a flailed cape like that very often. And it's very orange, very carrot-like, Lady of Pain. Not sure what she's holding on to, is that one of those classic clear uh, mountain cubes you see and hear about in Dungeons and Dragons? So we've completed the collection, yet we are still all in the dungeon together now. All right, it's all up to you, Lady of Pain. Get us out of this dungeon. And she dropped her box. I think we're stuck. I think the only way out of this dungeon now is if everyone just teams up here. So like if the Dragonborn Paladin can unspell himself. And well, where's the Halfling Druid's head? Anyone see that guy's head? It's been a while. There he is. Bah, I do not like that Tifling Sorcerer. Barbarian Dwarf with its axe. The clumsy Gith Warlock maybe back there. The Arakakwa Ranger, Strad von Zarovich. See if he's got some skills for getting us out together. Elf Bard. The man who's a dreamer and never takes leave. Who thinks of a world that is just make-believe. Stop singing. And where's Zaz Tam? Let's get his head fixed. Tasha, Tasha the Witch Queen, where'd she go? There she is. I don't know if we want to even ask the Mind Flayer back. He got us stuck in this dungeon to begin with, didn't he? And Landry, where's Landry Squirrel? There, the original character to get stuck in the dungeon with us. And the Mind Dog. Okay, the Mind Dog is here. Everyone is here. All right, let's think good thoughts, everybody. Let's get this dungeon off our heads. Oh, yay, the dungeon, the dungeon is off our heads. We're free. We're free. We'll never know 
compassion will never know pain. Who sits by the window will one day see rain. So to summarize this great Dungeons and Dragons series of minifigures, they all actually turned out pretty darn well. My favorites are over here, this grouping, the eagle, the squid faced guy, the knight with the dragon head, and the eyeball dude are my favorite four. My second favorite four with the halfling druid, like the foresty guy, the uh, lady of pain, that's just weird. But I do like the dwarf barbarian, so, and Zaz Tam is just weird fun. As for this group of bunch, they feel like kind of the weakest, never been a fan of witches, or vampire characters for that matter. The elf bard is okay, and I'm still very creeped out by the typling sorcerer. But really, I can't say much bad things about all of them, it's a solid series of Dungeons and Dragons LEGO minifigures. And that there is the LEGO minifigures Dungeons and Dragons collection, what do you think? If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel live, squam it your favorite LEGO minifigures Dungeons and Dragons figure we pulled today. Don't forget we have a Squirrel Stampede merch out like t-shirts, water bottles, and a plush Landry. Thank you so much for watching today. That's what I have to say about that. Now it's fear is clear. Today and tomorrow are yet to be said. The chances, the changes, are all yours The mold of your life is in your hands to break. The greatest adventure is what lies.